Want to pick a tan? Yep. I think that it always helps to have a little bit of color. Just a little bit. Especially as summer is coming to the end and you want to look perky and refreshed. But I never go in the sun. Like, I never go in the sun. People think what I'm out of my mind. I'm like, I mean, I would probably was a bat in a former life. I will go in the great outdoors, but I'm not somebody who will really bake in the sun. I'll kind of let sun and get my vitamin D on my face go for a couple of minutes at a time. But not only is it, we all know you can get skin cancer, you can also get fine lines and wrinkles and sunspots and, uh, and who wants to look old when you can fake a tan. So if you get a little natural color from just going out about during your day, I use um, sunscreen inside both my foundation and inside my moisturizer. So I always have a little bit of sunscreen on. I go out of my way to always walk on the shady side of the street so I don't really ruin my skin. But when I do want a little bit of color, and we all need it, there's a couple of things that I swear by. One of them is just a little powdered bronzer. You know, they've come a long way since the old days. This one is from Guerlain. It's probably probably like that granddaddy of really good bronzers. Powdered bronzer, it makes it look really pretty. Here's another one from a company called Note that I've been using, and this one is a little bigger. The shade, as you can see, the color is a little off. This one is a little lighter, but it's a little more yellow. It's actually kind of nice. The consistency, you can put it under your chin, you can put a little bit on the side of your nose. You get a little contour action in it too. You can even put some on your cleavage. But it basically adds a little quick color to yourself without using regular pressed powder. Also for your legs, um, when you start looking like deathly pale, it's a couple things. I know I hate it. It's by the Cave family, but this one's actually pretty good. And then this stuff's really good too. It's also really old school. It's Sally Hansen Leg Shimmer, and it will put a nice little veil on your legs so they look a shade up. Or of course, one of the L'Oreal's are really good. And Jergens, I don't have one with me too, has a self-tan cream that you can just get in the drugstore that's really, really cool. And another tip I have for looking tan is making sure you have that just kissed look. And these are some sticks from Orlain. I think you may have used them in something else. I like this one because it's kind of like a just sun-kissed rosy color. I use this almost every day. It's a very light blush. And then you don't want to look too dark. So this is a really beautiful highlighter stick. It, and it gives you that nice natural glow like you're sort of misty in the sun and then just amp your lipstick up a little bit this one has a little bit of a sort of a sun tanny carl undertone so it keeps the go the look going and kind of outdoorsy and fresh and then i also love these orlane lip glosses and two so you sort of instantly look a little more tan than you did before quite frankly i can't see if i Blend it in right in this light, but you get the idea. But really, don't go out in the sun. Just invest in a couple of good sun products out there, some fake, fake bacon products on your own, and keep the summer look going longer. Your skin will thank you for it. You'll look refreshed. People will think you went on vacation. You may even convince yourself that you went away. So I hope that this helps you. See you in the next Focus on Style Quick Tip. If you want more great beauty, business, and style, don't forget to subscribe. FocusOnStyle.com forward slash insiders and you will get your free star power flash kit. I look a little, a little tan. My God, someone's going to think I'm George Hamilton. See you soon. Take care. Don't forget to like it. Bye-bye.